quick response times, tactile feedback, that delightful clickety-clack sound that's like a Vegas craps table that keeps your roommate awake at night. Mechanical keyboards are awesome for all of that, not to mention their durability and premium feel. But what if instead of relying solely on a mechanical actuator, you could harness the power of light when you type? And I'm not talking about the ever-present RGB backlighting either. We are starting to see optical keyboard switches hit the market, which are actually sort of a fusion of existing mechanical keyboard technology and infrared light that determines when you push down on a key. And unlike the huge variety of purely mechanical switches, there are only two main types of optical switches out there right now since the technology is rather new. The first type is called a light strike switch, also called an LK switch. These work with a more or less traditional mechanical shaft that blocks a frickin' infrared laser beam when it's idle. But when you press down, the beam is allowed to hit a sensor on the other side of the switch, which registers a key press. Now, although this is a pretty simple principle of operation, it actually allows for faster response times when gaming because LK switches register keystrokes after traveling just one and a half millimeters downward, about 25% less than most current mechanical keyboards. The manufacturer also claims that actual response times could be as low as a fifth of one millisecond, which is useful if you need to Aim and fire quickly before getting headshotted. Not that too many people have fire bound to their keyboard. Don't worry about those little details. The other kind of switch goes by the super intense name of Flare Tech and works quite differently. Instead of using a beam of infrared light, the PCB has an upward facing IR sensor that can tell when the switch itself is being pushed down. Now, although this is a little more complicated and expensive to engineer than the LK switch, the IR sensor can actually tell how far the switch is being pressed down, allowing keyboard manufacturers to use them as so-called analog switches. In fact, a Dutch keyboard manufacturer called Wooting currently has a keyboard with flare tech switches on Kickstarter featuring this analog control that they're advertising as fine control over things like player movement or steering and throttle in driving games. Imagine being able to push down just a little bit on a key to make your car go more slowly around corners instead of like spamming the key and hoping that somewhere between here and here is like, like here-ish. Cool, right? Wooting is also pushing customizability as a feature of this keyboard as the analog functionality can be programmed in a number of ways to make these key switches much more versatile than traditional ones. And I mean beyond just gaming, they also have the distinct advantage of being replaceable since neither type has to be soldered onto the PCB. So the light sensor used by an LK switch is housed in the switch itself, while the IR sensor of a flare tech switch doesn't need a physical connection to the switch, making combining like a keyboard base plate with any other type of mechanical actuator that you want sound pretty versatile in the future. And all of this without giving yourself a crash course in soldering. Of course, since the technology is so new, there isn't much to choose from yet, although there are a small handful of LK switches currently available on Amazon, but given their potential to help gamers get quicker response times and more granular control, it wouldn't be surprising to me to see bigger name peripheral brands try to incorporate optical switches into their keyboards in the near future and bring in the sweet, sweet paper that comes with cutting edge technology. Speaking of being on the cutting edge, with a lynda.com membership, you can stay on the cutting edge. Whether you're looking to take your career to the next level, or you just want to get better at your hobby for enhanced pleasure. You can watch and learn from top experts who are passionate about teaching because they've got freaking thousands of video courses that you can stream on demand. And they've got a bunch of great 
little features that make it easier to use. You can browse the course transcripts to follow along or just skip to that point in the video to see the diagrams that go along with it. You can create playlists so that you can go along on a particular learning path with a small study group of your friends. You can even download the tutorials and watch them on the go, including access on iOS and Android, meaning you can start to make use of that time that you spend sitting on the bus, letting your brain rot. So the call to action then is head over to lynda.com at the link in the video description, get the 10 day free trial, find out if you like it. And if you do, it starts at a flat rate of just 25 bucks a month for all the learning that you could possibly imagine. So head down there, lynda.com slash techquickie. So thanks for watching. If you liked the video, like it. If you disliked it, dislike it. If you want to check out our other channels, boom. If you want to leave a comment with video suggestions, boom. And if you want to subscribe, then you're a good person. Do that.